What's happening, webheads? Guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you box number three of my 70 short box collection. That's right, guys. Piece by piece, we're going through my entire comic book collection and we're going to get to see what's inside all of these short boxes because to be honest with you, half the stuff I forget what's inside and it's always great to relive what I have and I get to show you guys at the same time. So if you missed parts one and parts two, don't worry guys, I have a playlist so you can check out part one and part two. And of course guys, if you love this type of content and you love comic book content just in general, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So with that being said guys, let's not waste any more time and let's dive into this. Okay, here's the short box we're showing off today. It's Batman box number two. Why we're starting with box two? Well, because it's easier to get to than box number one. So here we go. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside this Batman short box. So first things first, let's see. We got Batman the White Knight. Now that is nice. That's going back some ways already now. Uh, especially with all this stuff that's going on or all the other Batman White Knight series that we actually have. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Batman White Knight issue two. This original series is really, really good, man. Uh, just so awesome. I'm not really fond of the spinoff books right now. I want to know in the comments below what you guys think of those. Uh, there's Batman White Knight. That's issue three. Great Sean Gordon Murphy artwork. There's Batman White Knight issue four. And then there's Batman White Knight issue five. Really cool. And then here is Batman White Knight issue six. As we get the Batmobile exploding out towards you and Mr. Freeze on the cover. And then we have Batman White Knight issue seven with the Joker, Jack Napier himself. Then we have Batman White Knight. This is issue eight. There's Batman Curse of the White Knight. That's book one. So that was the second, you know, spinoff there. And then we have issue two or book two, we should say. Azrael's on the cover. Then we have the variants cover as you get to see Gordon on there. That's really cool, man really cool stuff and then we have this one with Batgirl on there look at that so nice that's book four and then here is book number five and then there is book number six here's a cool Harley one that's book seven. And then we have book eight. And then here is the Batman, the three Jokers. God, man. God, it seemed like yesterday this came out. How long ago now was this? Two years ago? Great covers here. Here's another one. Batman all bloodied up. That's book one. Here's the other variant cover of book one. There's book two. There's book three. Ooh, and now we're getting into some like real Batman stuff, guys. So here we go. If these are any so sort of keys, just let me know. My knowledge in just DC in general is just poor. So here's Batman issue 194. I'm not sure. I think this might be the first blockbuster. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. Obviously, you can see the price I paid for it. That one was 15 bucks. Then we have uh, Batman issue 200th. 200th smash issue here so again not too sure how much this is here you get to see some of the the condition that it's in 
Looks pretty good, not bad. I bet a clean and press would uh, probably do this book some wonders, though. This one's in pretty good shape. All right, let's see what else we got. We got Batman. This is issue 270. And then we have issue 350. It's a $15 book. That's what I paid for it. Don't know if it has any significance. Nightmare in Crimson. Oh, here's a pretty cool looking book, I guess, right? This is issue 361. Says it's the debut of um, Harvey Bullock. Really nice looking cover there. So that's really cool. Then we have issue 366. Joker is wild. So $25 that I paid for that book at the time. So really cool. Then we have 374. And we have 398. $8 book at the time. Got Two Face on there. <laughs> Remember when this book was hot for like a hot minute? What was it? The whole thing like tying back to Punchline or something like that? I've had this book since I was a kid. One of the only Batman books I ever owned when I was really super young. Maybe a couple others. So I had this book forever. I never went out of my way to buy this. <laughs> then we have Batman issue 413. We have the Penguin Affair issue one of three, 448. I, I love this cover. This cover is so awesome. The Penguin Affair issue three or part three. And then we have Batman issue 450. I have two Batmans issue 450. We have Batman issue 451. Cool Joker cover. We have Batman Dark Knight Dark City. This is issue 452. This is another part of that series. Issue 453. We have issue 454. I don't even remember buying these. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Issue 465, Batman with Robin. And we have 467. It's a two dollar and fifty cent book. Shadow Box Part One. This probably has no significance whatsoever. And then I have Batman 468. Ooh, it looks like we're getting into some Nightfall stuff. Batman issue 493. This is issue 494. Well, there we have it, guys. 497. Bane break Batman's back. 498. Cool Catwoman on there. 504. Oh, so while I'm showing off these Batman books, I grabbed these. I wound up getting this issue 492. This one is signed. Also has a certificate of authenticity on it so that's pretty cool by kelly jones and then i also have this issue 500 that is also signed by joe casada also with the coa on it all right so we move on here we got more batman this is issue 504 and then we have 505 508. Oh, this one's good. I wound up getting this one time at a 
uh, garage sale. I remember buying this in my neighborhood, actually. 609. This is like the hush story, right? So I wound up getting this. Love this cover, man. It's so gorgeous. So 609. What else do we got here? We have this Batman annual from 1982. Oh, and now we go to Batman Free Comic Book Day. Batman Fear State and I Am Batman. Ooh, and then we go on to Batman Rebirth. So we have issue one. <clears throat> Another annual. And then we go on to the Rebirth stuff. So David Finch did all the artwork on these covers. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I like Gotham Girl. I thought she was cool. Here's number seven. Number eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, it's a cool cover, Rooftops Part 1, nice, another nice cover, Issue 16, we have 18, 19. At this point, I felt like when it came to Tom King's run on Batman, it started dragging already. Issue 20. Oh, and then we have 21, the lenticular. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You can see it good on the camera. It's cool. Ooh, and then I got 21, the foil edition. I got this at uh, actually at Megacon. So that was cool. And then we have 22, the other foil. Reverse Flash, Thomas Wayne. And then we have 23. And then 24. Every epilogue is a prelude. It's a pretty cover. 25. 26. 27. 28, 29, 30, 31. I think I still have some older stuff in this box too. 32, 33, 34. Cool cover. 35. Oh, yeah, we do. We do have some more old Batman stuff. We have Detective Comics. This is issue 446. A Bone Chiller Slaughter in Silver. Then we have issue 452. We have 460. We have the Batman family. This is issue 481. Love how it says Robin battles with Raven. Batgirl faces death in China. Man Bat, private eye. I love that stuff. That's cool. Oh, I like this cover too. What do we got here? Detective Comics issue 501. Plus a new Batgirl thriller. Let's see, what do we have? Detective Comics, issue 506. Who dies for the mannequin? Solomon Grundy. This is issue 523. Here we have issue 535. 
here we have the issue 594. Here we have 595, Hawkman. 80 page giant, this is issue 598. Then we have the issue 600. So that's pretty cool. And we have issue 601. 602. Hey, there's that Penguin Affair. That's part two. 615 of Detective. And then we have issue 619. 621. Well, I like this cover. This one's pretty cool. 622. Batman in Detective Comics. The Batman says die. That's a cool cover, man. Then we have the anniversary celebrating Batman's 600th appearance in Detective Comics. This is issue 627. Then we have issue 647, the first Stephanie Brown. So that's cool. Then we have 648, which where she is the first spoiler. Then we have issue 660. Interesting cover. 661. 662. 664. 668. Oh, I remember these when I was a kid. This is Robin Joker's Wild, and it had these like little like stickers on them that were like holograms. Oh my god, that's hilarious. This brings back memories. I've had that since I was a kid too. There's issue two. There's the hologram. So awesome. Love that. Issue three. There's the hologram sticker on there. Let's see here. Almost done. Let's bring these last few out. Issue four. Let's check out that sticker because that's what counts, baby. Batman Adventures, issue nine. Then we have Legends of the Dark Knight, issue 21. Oh, I love this cover. I love this. Nightwing Annual Issue 1 from 1997. That is gorgeous. So there you have it, guys. There's box number three. Hopefully you enjoyed those Batman comics. Any keys, leave in the comments section below. I would love to hear if I missed something, of course. And guys, I'll leave you more of the previous parts right next to me so you can click on that and watch it. And as always, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, but more importantly, always read your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.